a very wonderful good morning to my dear students here in this video we are going to start chapter number 6 more on scratch scratch what is this this is a programming language or we can say this is a software which is used for creating the games all right so here this is a very interesting chapter for you as it is related to your mobile games and all so dear students we are going to learn in this chapter scratch programming for creating games and handle commands of different blocks and how we can create a working multiplayer games all right so dear students let's start with introduction all right a sequence of instructions given to the computer is called a program so the language used to write these instruction is called programming language so now let us learn about a new programming language called scratch what is this scratch it is a free multiplayer multimedia programming language used to create interactive stories games animations music and art by simple dragging and dropping of instructions blocks it is a program tool that can be used by students teachers scholars and parents for science and mathematical pro projects presentation simulations and also experiment and many more things we can do by this programming tool now we can start the scratch how we will use it and how we can start it all right i will show you see here we can start it by clicking start button okay then click here all programs and click on scratch 2 the scratch 2 window appears like this this type of first screen will appear when you are starting the scratch programming language all right so this is a very interesting language as you are doing it you can find it was used in many more things except with playing as the students and teachers are also using it for their science and mathematical projects and also it is used for presentation simulations and experiments are also done by with the help of this programming language now some basic screen elements of this scratch first you will see this window properly you are finding many more elements are there see stage customs script panes like this this type of elements are here i will tell you i will explain you what are the uses of this basic elements how it is used in the scratch see first is stage it is an area where you see your stories animations music and art in the action the object that performs action on the stage is called sprite and click presentation mode to present the project on the full screen then click stop sign that was the red button was there to stop the project and now next is block palette what is this block palette it was the instruction are given to sprite with the help of the blocks of the block palette and block palette allows you to drag block into the sprite area where you are 
using when you are doing your work as you drag a block a copy of it follows the mouse until you drop it into the sprite script area all right now i will tell you what is the script area and sprite screen here it script area is basically an area where the blocks are dragged from the block palette and the script area also has zoom tool like minus button and equal plus button and equal to buttons are there that the zoom tool was there at the bottom right corners and it allows you to zoom in and zoom out the block in the script area all right so you can use it one by one now sprite sprite pane it contains a thumbnail view of all sprites every time you open scratch it begins with a sprite a new sprite can be added added by clicking one of the following like first you will click there to select a new sprite uh, available in scratch program then you click the brush to paint a new sprite to paint editor all right this and now to select a new sprite from the file stored in the computer the open button was there and the cam camera when you clicking it you take photograph by from for a new sprite using the web camera all right so here you easily you can see four thumbnails views are there all right first is for scratch program new sprite program second is for paint third is for opening or say opening or storing the files okay and next is for taking the photographs for new sprite sprite all right students as you are using it you can find it it was very easy and interesting programming language all right now i'll tell you about the custom paints <clears throat> the custom paints contains a list of customs of the selected sprite by default the sprites has two customs to switch between them simply click on the thumbnail of the custom you want a new custom can be added to the list by click clicking one of the following see here first is first is first is for to select a new custom available in the scratch scratch program then click this brush to paint a new custom using the paint editor and next is for to select a new custom for from the file stored in the computer as like the sprite paint and last to take photograph for a new custom using this web camera clear this is very useful and important language now i'll tell you how you can add the sound pane in the in your sound clips in your pen sound pens sound pens contains a list of audio clips it includes the name of the sound and the thumbnail of a speaker clicking the speaker icon this speaker will play the sound a new sound can be added to the list by clicking one of the following like this here you can see the three switches are there one is to select a new sound available in the scratch program and next this mic is for record a new sound using your sound recorder program mama and the microphone microphone is recorded to to the audio next is to select the new sound from the file to stored in the computer all right 
so dear students you can easily innovate the things and used this sound pane option also in your script pane okay the sound pane is also useful for you to improve your sprite and improve your script area all right now next i will tell you about the sprite info pane see here click on the sprite thumbnail present in the sprite pane to open sprites info pane it includes information about the selected sprite as well as few tools for manipulating the sprite like this one sprite one you can change the name of sprite by typing the new name in the box okay you can change it by easily and then here x and y coordinates indicate the position of the sprite all right and you can rotate the sprite by dragging the blue line here blue line this was okay and uh, you can uh, just uh, rotate it it enables full rotation in sprite pressing and dragging the blue line will rotate the sprite it enables the sprite to face only left right then pressing and dragging the blue line will flip the sprite it is a dis disable the rotation in the sprite okay so i think this is a very easy and interesting language as you are doing it and you find it it is a, it is like a game that is bond you for a long time all right so my dear students i hope you understood the uh, introduction of this more on scratch of chapter number 6 and also understood how this language is useful in your gaming in your projects and your presentations and uh, many more in many more things all right so dear students i'll tell you more on this scratch in the next video in the next continuation video okay so up to that keep studying keep bye bye